So between meals there must be at least five to six hours of space. The ideal way to live is, there is no sleep in my life. But that's not possible right now, still body has some inertia. So it sleeps minimum. Rest of the time, it is at ease. You consume a little bit of honey in warm water on a daily basis and uh, you will see slowly the RBC content will go up. When it comes to food, one of the most important things that you must be conscious of is, on a certain day when you eat a certain type of food, whatever you eat, you must consciously notice how quickly does it digest and become a part of yourself. Any food that you eat, if it lasts over three hours, that means you've eaten bad food and that is something to be either avoided or reduced in quantity. If food moves out of your stomach bag, Within three hours, this means you're eating something that your system can handle efficiently. It may not be the best food, but your system is able to handle it. And between one meal and the next meal, if you create a clear gap of five to six hours, and in between if there is no other ingestion, you will see the cleansing process in the system on the cellular level, cleansing will happen. This cleansing on the cellular level is most important and significant for a healthful life. So between meals there must be at least five to six hours of space. If you're over thirty years of age, two meals a day, two good meals a day will suffice. One in the morning and one in the evening. After the evening meal, before you go to bed, there must be a minimum of three hours and if there is a certain amount of physical activity, not necessarily very heavy or strenuous activity, just simple walking or maybe a dance or something like this, create something for yourself where about at least twenty to thirty minutes there is some physical activity after the evening meal. If you do this, largely your system will be healthy. Anemia means on one level the blood has lost its iron, that means you lost your steel, okay? <laughs> you lost the strength in the body, you'll feel exhausted, simply exhausted for nothing. Because once the necessary iron is not there, your ability to carry oxygen through the body is less, that means your body, your heart, your brain, everything will be on a lower level of function because you don't have enough oxygen. So, building oxygen into the blood is one of the important things because how healthy the body is, how easily it rejuvenates itself depends on a high level of oxygen in the blood. And that capability will go down, particularly women have to be careful on this because of the biological process that their hemoglobin content may go down, and their ability to carry oxygen in the blood will come down, which will make them unnecessarily exhausted, will make them look unintelligent. And uh, yes, if the… if the RBC is low, you feel dumb because there's not enough oxygen in the brain and it doesn't function the way it needs to function, both the body and the brain. So, uh, to take care of this, one of the simple things is you consume a little bit of honey in warm water on a daily basis and uh, you will see slowly the RBC content will go up. If there's more oxygen in the blood, suddenly you feel a burst of energy, suddenly everything is active, the rejuvenation system in the body is going up, the dead cells are being replaced quickly. The level of inertia that you feel in the body is much lower, the level of inertia that you feel in your mind is much lower. So, honey, it has different types of impacts on the system. If it consumed raw, it has one kind of impact. If it is consumed in cold water, it has another kind of impact. If it is consumed in warm water, it's a different kind of impact. We want to consume it in warm water here because we want the system to open up. If you put it into boiling water, some part of honey will turn poisonous. So you should never put it into boiling water. 
or you should not cook the honey. I know in Western societies people are making honey cakes and stuff, they're cooking it. If you… Cr if it crosses a certain temperature, then honey will turn poisonous. So it must be put into… like it's in a temperature that is drinkable. Into that you put. If it's boiling hot, you don't put. Sleep is not a requirement in one's life. What the body requires is rest. Sleep is just one form of rest. Lot of people are beginning to think, in Tamil Nadu if somebody says, rest panikaranga means they're sleeping. <laughs> Need not be, you can sit and rest, isn't it? Yes? You can stand and also rest. You're running, if you stand, doesn't it feel like rest? You're standing, if you sit down, doesn't it feel like rest? There are many ways of resting. The most important thing is, rest means you're changing the energy equation where consumption is lowered, production is going on at the same pace. So after a period of time, you feel rejuvenated because consumption has been lowered. Essentially, you are managing the energy equation. If you are in activity, the consumption is more. Whatever you are producing, it's not enough. After some time, you feel exhausted because the consumption has been heavy. If you lower the consumption and increase the production, after some time you feel energized. The ideal way to live is, there is no sleep in my life. But that's not possible right now, still body has some inertia. So it sleeps minimum. Rest of the time, it is at ease. If you keep this at ease, then sleep does not occur to the body unless it comes to a certain point of exhaustion. So body is never ever asking for sleep, but it is definitely asking for rest. If you do not know how to sit here in a restful manner, it will try to rest <laughs> like this. If you can sit here totally at ease, it will sit here for hours without falling asleep. Otherwise, this is the only way it knows how to rest. If you sit here now, one simple thing you can do is you sit down, you come and sit down here, just move your attention from the top of your head down to your toes and see if everything is loose and easy and relaxed and at ease. Are you sitting like this? <laughs> Sit, just bring this to ease as much as you can. Not everything is in your conscious level. As much as you can consciously bring it to ease. You will see suddenly if you are the kind who will fall asleep at ten o'clock, if you simply one hour you sit here at ease, you will see your sleep will get postponed by half an hour. You won't feel sleepy at ten. Naturally you're awake. 